In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with setting up your LinkedIn careers page. Once your contract has gone live, you'll see on your company page, you now have three tabs, an overview tab, a jobs tab, which will host all of the jobs you have posted on LinkedIn, and then your new careers page tab. In order to add content to your careers page, you'll need to have admin access. If you don't have company page admin access, ask your relationship manager to help you get set up. When you do have admin access, you'll see this manage page button. Click on the manage page button to go into the admin tool. In the admin tool, you'll see a drop down for the careers page. Click the down arrow and click on the life tab. The first time you go into this view, you'll see this blank template. And this is where you're going to add the content to be, to be published on your careers page. Let's take a look at what it looks like when it's all filled out. So you'll see at the top of the page, you'll start with a big headline header banner. Below the banner, you'll see a section where you can highlight leaders of your company. This can either be leaders or it might be top recruiters um, or anyone that you'd like to highlight at your company that you'd like people to easily be able to get in touch with. Below this section are three modules that we call custom modules. Here's where you can talk about different parts of your company, uh, what makes you guys unique, why people should want to work for you, um, what's appealing you know, in terms of a client or candidate to work with your business. Each of these sections, you'll be able to upload another piece of rich media, whether that's an image, a YouTube video, or a slide presentation. You'll have a space for a title to the section, space to write copy, and then an option to have one or two links to link off of LinkedIn. So these links might be for a place for people to find out more information on your corporate website. It might be links to other social media sites that you manage. Uh, it might be a link if your company has a blog that they keep, you might want to link them off to the blog. The idea behind the careers page is to have a space where members can land and they can find out about your company the same type of information that they could find on your corporate website. So the more you can make your LinkedIn careers page look and feel like your corporate website, the better. Then people will start to relate and re re recognize your company, your brand, and your logo. Here's the second custom module that they have uploaded here. There's options for a third. Um, this company does not have a third module posted. Below the custom modules is a section to upload company photos. So these can be snapshots of your employees. They can be um, snapshots of your office. This is really up to you what you want to put in this space. I think this space is best utilized to show um, the recruiters or the team at, at your company um, and just to kind of to put a face on the other end of the phone. So I love when you can really get a feel for the culture at the company or the types of people that you're going to be working with if you choose to work with this company. Below this section is a section called employee perspectives. This is a space where if you have any anyone at your company who's writing and publishing posts on LinkedIn, um, you can then highlight those posts here on your company page. So these um, this manager and this managing director of this firm are writing and publishing posts on LinkedIn. And so they've brought those in to highlight them here on their company page. Let's go back and look at the back end again. Here's the back end. And you scroll down, you can see the very first thing that you need to do is name the page. So this is what, if you have multiple views of your careers page, this is what members will see when they, when they toggle from page to page. So this might be a general overview. Below that is the section where you upload the, the big header banner image. Here, we will tell you the minimum si file size that you need to upload an image into this space. And then you just click here to upload it from your computer, or you can actually highlight a YouTube video in this space as well. And if you wanna do that, you just click this YouTube video button and then paste the URL here. Each section below the, head, the header banner will have a toggle on the right-hand side. It's going to default to be hidden, 
but as you're adding content to these sections, you're going to want to toggle that over to be visible. So when you publish your page, it will be visible to members. Here's the company leader section. There's space for you to write a headline, a subheadline, and then add in the company leader. In order to add someone into this module, you need to be connected to them on LinkedIn. So if I wanted to highlight my colleague Amanda, I start typing her name and when she pops up, I'm just going to click on her name and that will pull in her picture, her name and her job title. Below this section are those custom modules. Again, make sure you're going to toggle, toggle this over here to visible as you're adding content. Here's where you would upload your YouTube video, your slide presentation, or your image. Again, the image specs are listed right here. Here's where you add a subtitle to the section, your copy, and where you would, if you wanted to have links to link members off LinkedIn, you click this button here to add a URL. The label URL is what members will see on LinkedIn. And the URL link is the actual URL that will be hyperlinked to your label. If you wanted to add in a third module, you click this add another module button and another module will pop up for you to populate. Below that is the company photo section. And here you would just upload photos from your, from your desktop. After you upload one photo, the option to upload another will then become available. And here's the employee perspective section. In order to populate this section, you just need the link to the article on LinkedIn. And when you have that, you just paste that here and press enter. And again, after you add one, you'll have the opportunity to add up to two more to highlight on your page. The last section is an employee testimonial section. So this is a place where you can um, like leave quotes or highlight um, things that have been said about your employees or your, the leaders of your business. So you might add a top recruiter in this section here and then leave a quote about that someone has left about what it's like to work with that recruiter. Or you might highlight some of the leaders of your company. Uh, you might highlight you know, one of the leaders and have a quote from him on you know, what their vision is for the company or why they're passionate about the industry or why they started the company and just to give people a little bit more insight into, into your company and who you are. After you've added content to this page, you have a few options. You can either preview it. If you hit preview, you'll see what this will look like live on the LinkedIn site. You can save it for later. You might add some content and save it and want someone else to look at it or you can publish it. Once you publish it, it will go live on LinkedIn.